Folks, uh, as the title says, I've been dealt a blow in life. That means something bad happened. And I'm not pleased with this. And uh, everything will ultimately be all right. But unfortunately, it is going to impact the channel to a degree. I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to be doing stuff. Uh, Health-wise, I'm per perfectly fine. Everything's okay. This is not... A major major thing but it's a self-confidence thing is what it is so here's how the story goes three weeks ago or so I was eating some ribs and they were delicious I made it myself so I got the bone and I'm biting them and biting them and eating that and everything's perfectly fine I felt fine after but something was just a little off I couldn't quite tell what it was. Just something didn't seem quite right. But I was okay, you know, went to the bathroom, everything's good like that. A couple more weeks go by, I got a hero sandwich. I'm eating that. And it was delicious. Again, the same thing. Everything was perfectly fine. I had no trouble digesting it or anything like that. However, something was just a bit off and I couldn't quite put my finger on what it was. That is, until I did. Um, how and why I did this, I don't know. Uh, you've done it. You don't even think about it. It just happens. I happened to stick a finger in my mouth for no apparent reason, and my front tooth right here is loose. That's the problem. I went to the dentist. Now, I have to tell you about my dental history. It's not good. It never was good. Uh, I had a severely crowded mouth, so I had braces. We're going to get back to that in a second. Starting in early childhood, when I went to the dentist, everything was fine. I wasn't afraid of the dentist. Uh, or anything like that. I just let him do his thing. I was fully compliant with what he said. Stuff like that. And everything was pretty good for the first number of years of my life. Up until the point where I think I was in like second grade and I needed braces. Well, anyway, that dentist I didn't go to anymore because he was for, for kids and that. And, you know, everything was fine at that dentist. Really, no trouble whatsoever. Except for the fact that I threw up every single time I had a cleaning done. That may have been due to the fluoride, but anyway, I, I wasn't scared of it or anything like that, but it still was never a great experience. Well, then I needed braces, so I don't know what magic was worked out between my parents and this quack of an orthodontist, but I ended up having braces for Get Ready... 11 years. Did it straighten my teeth? Well, yeah, it helped. They're all crooked and fucked up now. Um, but uh, it was extraordinarily painful because he put the braces on and once you get everything all set up, it hurts. Okay, so you figure, oh, no big deal. Well, no, this, this was a big deal. This was bad. This was bad for 11 years. Basically, I would go to the orthodontist, he would tighten shit, do whatever the fuck he does, and I couldn't eat for two weeks because the pain was just that much. It just, it hurt. Every bite hurt because of how tight this shit was. He gave me all of these medieval torture devices. Uh, I had one that was sort of like a retainer kind of thing. It was pink in color, that's just whatever, and it goes in your mouth and it sat on the bottom of my mouth and it was supposed to correct for an underbite. In other words, my jaw extends further than the upper teeth. Um, so I had that for a while and I had to carry a little box for it and that was a whole... I could tell stories about that. Uh... <laughs> It was a mess. And I'll tell you one story right now. There I was having lunch at school. 
and we had these people called aides. They were the people that basically watched to make sure there was wasn't a food fight about to go on, that kids weren't killing each other, keep the noise level down, and if you acted out, they would put you up against the wall, and then they would yell at you later or write you up or something. I don't know. I, I was a good kid. I, I never had to deal with that. But one day, I had finished my lunch, and one of the aides had something to say. I guess everybody was too noisy that day. Well, anyway, while she's doing her spiel, she was like the, the head one, if you will. And she was a fucking witch, too, but I don't want to get too off topic. Anyway, one of the other aides, who I liked, walked up to me and kind of motioned, like, are, are you done? Do you want me to throw that out for you? And I was like, yeah, I'm done. And then she goes to grab everything, and the retainer was there, and I said, no, 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 wait, wait! <laughs> well, it was too late. That went in a huge garbage can, and we went through the garbage three times until we found it. It wasn't good. Uh, cleaned it up, everything's fine. Then I got another medieval torture device. It was a face mask that went on, strap went around the back of my neck, and then that was to create that went into something in my back teeth on top, and that did something, and I had this wire that fucking came out, and we all get shit all over it. And then I got another one that had two little posts on that metal wire that I would then have to attach a rubber band to that, and around that, and around that to that. And anyway, it ended up I had to have four teeth pulled because my mouth was too crowded. And then he had to correct for that. And you say, well, geez, 11 years, that's way, way too long. Well, guess what? That also fucked me up for the rest of my life. Now, I don't know how the deal went down with this orthodontist. Oh, and I'm sorry, there was another medieval torture device, another retainer type thing that went in the roof of my mouth. And that came with a key. It was in three sections. And after, like, every week, you would have to put the key in and crank this thing one revolution on each side to crank everything out further. So it got more and more painful as time went on. Uh, and uh, everything was fine. And I'm wearing it, and I take it out for lunch, and I do all everything. You know, like I said, I was compliant. I was a good kid. And I did everything I was supposed to. And then I remember the science teacher asked a question. And she said, I don't remember what the question was, but I was trying to say the phrase, how deep. And it came out as, how look? So the whole class turned and looked at me. Like, what the fuck just happened? So I tried again. How loop? And then I took it out and I said, how deep? So I couldn't speak with it. That was great and super fucking embarrassing. I don't know what this guy's problem was, why it took so long, or if I just had a really extended bad case or something like that. But I had braces for 11 years. Well, that causes a problem. One problem it causes is a low battery. Let me change that. I'll be right back. The other problem we'll get back to. Uh, I had found this loose tooth. And I said, okay, that's an adult tooth. That's not a good thing. And I need to go to the dentist. Now, after the orthodontist, I went to another dentist. And between the orthodontist and this other dentist... It was emotionally degrading because no matter what I did, no matter how well I brushed, no matter anything that I did, I would end up with cavities. Oh, you got a sticky spot here. Oh, cavity in number three. You know, whatever, it, you know, we got to drill that out and fill that one. And Oh, you got one up here, too. You're just not brushing properly, you know. And he, you know, get, get, slaps on the wrist all the time. Just between the both of them, they were, they were just abysmal in patient care as far as that goes. Um, am I brushing the wrong way? I was 
brushing the way I was taught. I mean, there's not really a wrong way to do it, per se, as long as you hit everything and do it well for the right amount of time. Uh, you know, it just was, okay? I wasn't the kind of kid that would eat candy all day either and have sugary shit all over my teeth. I don't like dessert that much, and I don't eat it that much, and I never did even back then. So just, I don't know what the fuck, okay? It just is how it is. Well, um, I stopped going to the dentist 20 years ago. We're going to leave it right there. Because I didn't want this shit anymore. No matter what I did, no matter how hard I tried, I said, you know what, when I have a problem, then I'll have to go and I'll deal with it. Well, it took 20 years, and now I have a problem. I never had any pain. I never had any discomfort over the last 20 years. Nothing. I've been perfectly fine. Do I need a cleaning? Oh, yeah. Yep. Definitely. But whatever, I'm living with it. But now I got a problem. So I go in there and I tell them what's going on. They said, well, we're going to have to take x-rays. Okay, I have no problem with that. I'm not scared of the dentist. That's perfectly fine. So I go in there and they get the thing. They have you bite on it. It's got the round thing. And they bring the whole apparatus over and put it there. And then they go outside the room to laugh at you and press the button. So they don't get x-rays. They put the lead shield on me, but, you know, they just kind of throw it. They don't care. So who knows if my dick is going to fall off one day because of that. But anyway, it is what it is. It's just an x-ray. Fine. Now I wait for the dentist because that was the hygienist. And the dentist comes in. She says, oh, how you doing? You know, this and that. She was a Chinese lady. She was very kind. Very, very nice. And she says, let me pull up your x-rays here. So she said, here is the tooth that's loose. She looked at it and felt it and wiggled it and all that. And she said, that's unfortunately not very good. Um, she showed me the x-ray. And I have an infection in the gum up there. Uh, the tooth, unfortunately, can't be saved. So that's the blow I've been dealt. I have to have it pulled. But if I have it pulled, I'm going to look like Alfred E. Newman. I have two options to go with. Uh, one costs more than the other. The cheaper option is a bridge. The dentist recommended against doing that. And I was like, well, the price difference is going to be great. So I might go that route anyway despite what you're telling me. But the more I thought about it, the other option is a dental implant. And that's what I'm going to have to get. Now, the problem is the dental implant takes anywhere between three and possibly even nine months for it to be made and then installed. And it's going to take multiple visits. They have to, like, extract the tooth let it heal then they have to drill out the bone and inject bone powder they call it and then they have to put a stud in there which is actually torqued with a torque wrench i shit you not and then ultimately the implant is screwed on to that post that's been put in um i I'm not happy with this outcome. Uh, I don't have a choice in the matter. In the interim, which is even more degrading, is I'm going to have to have what they call a flipper. I never heard of this before, so she showed me. What it is, is a denture that is one tooth. So that way, I won't look like Alfred E. Newman. Does anybody know who Alfred E. Newman is? Leave a comment. Let me know if you know. Of course, it's just a fucking Google search away, but not many people can do that these days. Anyways, uh, I need to get a dental implant. Uh, the reason the bridge isn't good is something my dad said, uh, which I thought about it and it made a lot of sense. He actually has an implant, and it's a funny story how he got his. 
Uh, sometime back in the 1960s, he was in a bicycle accident and fell off his bike and landed on his face. And it broke out a tooth, I forget which one. Uh, it might have actually been that same one. Anyways, um, they were able to do a crown. And what that is, is whatever jaggedness of the tooth that's left, they grind that all down, and then it's a cap or a crown that is put on that and cemented into place. Well, that uh, crown lasted him 50 years, and it finally failed. How did it fail? It wasn't the crown itself, and it wasn't the cement. The stump of tooth that was left is what went bad. So, um, anyway, that's uh, why, and he ended up having to have the same flipper for time, and then eventually a, an implant, and he's very happy with it, and that's that. But he said a bridge is going to kind of latch that new tooth on to existing teeth, and put more stress on that. And that gets back to the other problem from the braces. If you have braces for a year or two, three, maybe even four, you will get this, but it's not really a big deal. It's gonna be a small percentage. But after 11 years, I have severe, what they call root resorption. And that means that the roots of all of my teeth are very short. And just like a plant that has a small root, that means that in heavy winds or something like that, so this is going to be an ongoing thing that resulted from this extended braces treatment from that quack orthodontist. Now, again, I don't understand the semantics of all of that, but this shit went on way too long. If it were seven years, I would be in a lot better position. But um, the dentist said you have a lot of root resorption, very short roots there. And uh, it's very strange. I've never seen any that short before. I said, well, I had braces for 11 years. As soon as I say that, you know the proverbial light bulb that goes on above somebody's head? Nope. She lit up as if she were the light bulb. She said, that explains all of it. Obviously, I have no recourse, and that means that going forward, this may be a potentially much bigger problem later on in life and ultimately result in my possibly losing uh, a lot more teeth or a lot you know, even all of them, and have to go full dentures, and thanks, orthodontist, that really helped me. Set me up for childhood, teeth are still crooked anyway, and I get fucked later in life. There's no recourse now. It is what it is. Um, better news is that um, the dental implant is not covered by insurance. Not just by my insurance, it's a cosmetic thing. And cosmetic things are not covered by insurance pretty much across the board. So that means that I'm going to have to pay out of pocket for this. So, you know, in typical internet fashion, I set up a GoFundMe. There's a link down in... No, I, I don't do that. Now, if you want to do something for me, you can email me. You can get my email right through YouTube. But um, I will tell you that, you know, this is a blow... Uh, but I can't afford it, and it will be paid for in full, and it's not going to be a problem with that. But the bigger blow is to my self-esteem. I don't want to have to wear a denture. And there's going to be some pain involved, and eating is a problem right now because that tooth is loose. So I have to eat on this side of my mouth um, to bite something. Like, I just made some Dirty J Burglars. And it's a little demeaning to not be able to just pick up this thing and eat it. I have to sit there with a knife and cut it in half, and I'm able to jam in enough to get a bite off of it and enjoy it. And it's all the same from there, but it's still like, fuck. 
So that's uh, that's a problem. Um, ultimately, like I said, it's going to be months and months and months until I finally get the implant and then everything will be just like it is now. How is this going to impact the channel? Well, no matter what tooth they put in there, whether it's a flipper and especially probably that, or the final implant, my speech is probably going to be affected. Now, it's not going to be to a major degree. Uh, because of the shape of how my teeth are and everything else, um, I don't have a very strong S. It's windy instead of a very trill kind of thing. Uh, it just is. Um, it, you know, it's, you've heard me for however many years I've been on YouTube and that. That is likely going to be affected. I will tell you also that with this tooth loose, I've noticed just the most minute difference in speech. Now, am I going to overcome that and learn to speak with it like that? There's only so much that the mechanics of all of it are, are going to be able to do, but I'm going to, of course, try my best to uh, do that, but I may have some soft F's going forward. We'll have to see. I just don't know. That's what I'm expecting. Uh, there may be almost no trouble. Um, I may not be able to speak... Um, I don't know what the term is. Clearly, with the flipper in, because it goes on the roof of your mouth. Um, so I don't know how that's going to work out. So I may sound funny in that interim of... Six to, you know, three to nine months or whatever it is. Um, and if I take it out, I probably would sound different in that regard. So, um, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just something I'm going to have to deal with. And, unfortunately, you're going to have to bear with me during that time. Um, I have uh, sent a bunch of emails out to a lot of close friends of mine, uh, both on YouTube and in real life, and of course told them what's going on and all of that. I've spoken to my dad about this. My mother also has an implant as well as my dad, like I said, and many people have given me some insight, whether it's them or somebody they know who has them, and you know, pretty much the the glory day is going to be there when it's finally installed and everything is back to normal and it'll be a wonderful thing but it's going to be a battle uh, getting there again otherwise health wise things are okay perfectly fine I don't have any particular problems uh, I am starting to fall apart uh, in my older age I had a weird thing go on maybe about a week ago or something where I lost hearing in my left ear. Just out of the blue, it just went away. I don't know why. And then I had tinnitus, which I deal with on a daily basis, but it was really bad in that ear. And that has cleared up by now to about 95% back to normal. So at least that is going all right. Um, I've been working myself to death with the pool and all kinds of other outdoor work in that. So my sleep has been minimal. <laughs> so I'm trying to catch up with that as well. Um, I'm starting to fall apart a little bit. Uh, I'm not in the greatest shape like I was last year, but hopefully I'll get a bit better. But, you know, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm really not worried about that, but I am worried about getting older still because it only gets harder as you get older. But anyway, things otherwise are doing fine. What you're going to see going forward, I'm not doing anything about this tooth for the next maybe three weeks or so. Uh, so everything will be normal. Um, the show must go on as far as the 4th of just slime and everything that goes along with that. I uh, may have another guest coming 
soon after that and right after that I'll have a break for maybe the last two weeks of July where I'll probably have the tooth pulled and hopefully get that flipper denture made and uh, we'll then be wearing that and then we'll have yet another guest uh, sometime in August uh, so things are going to continue. I'm going to keep recording. I'm going to keep doing stuff. But again, my speech may be affected. So we're just going to have to bear with that. Everybody who I've sent emails out to or spoken to in real life have been exceptionally supportive. Uh, I would certainly appreciate that from all of you. If you want to leave some kind words or uh, an experience that you may have had or someone you know may have had. Uh, with such a, a, an issue like that, like this, uh, that would be quite kind. Um, like I said, I, I don't need any help. If you'd like to do something more, please feel free to email me, and uh, we could work something out. I, you know, nothing is expected, and um, I'll be okay either way. But if you really feel the need to want to help out gifts will be graciously accepted uh, but again there's no go fuck me or anything like that that I'm setting up because I'm not reaching out for help because I really don't need it but if you just wanted to do something nice you can uh, that is the current state of things um, it's a blow in life I didn't expect this to happen now I was expecting more sometime by the age of 50 but it came early, and I'm just going to have to deal with it. And the worst news is that I may have to deal with this more and more going forward, but that all remains to be seen, one step at a time. So I am feeling dejected. Uh, I am feeling depressed. I'm not in my right frame of mind, but I'm keeping busy doing other stuff to keep my mind off of it. So I'm going to be okay in the end of this. Um, that day when I felt that tooth was loose for the first time, I just got a really sinking feeling. And it hasn't left since I felt that, because I knew that this was not going to be a good thing. Uh, it is what it is. I can't control it. You know, we're built to certain specifications. I was made in USA, and as we learned with the hose reel... That didn't quite work out. <laughs> uh, listen, it is what it is. We all have our own problems and that in life. And uh, this is just one of mine. Uh, it hasn't been a great, you know, last year or so. Last, no, oh, more like 15 months. I got sick twice. And then I couldn't hear. And now the fucking tooth. I'm falling apart, like I said. But hanging in, so that's all I can do for now. I thank you very kindly for watching. I really, truly do appreciate it. Um, I know you're all going to be very supportive of this uh, in that regard as well. And I deeply, deeply thank all of you for that. It really is going to mean a lot over these coming months. Anyway, that's all I have for now. I'll give you updates as they come along. Thanks again, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.